Hello children welcome to yet another class in English so today we are going to take on the poem the school boy written by william blake so as usual we are going to know something about the poet before we begin the poem right here is mr william blake william blake was an english poet a painter well known paintings are there of william blake and he was a print maker he was largely unrecognized during his lifetime but now william blake is considered to be one of the most important poets of the romantic age his famous poems include the tiger london and the lamb let's move on to the first stanza so here is the first stanza i'll read out the stanza I love to rise in a summer morn when the birds sing on every tree the distant huntsman winds his horn and the skylark sings with me oh what sweet company so here in the stanza the poet is imagining himself to be a really young boy and he says that he loves to get up early in the summer morning when he sees birds singing on every tree he sees in distant in far away corner in his village the huntsman the hunter and his people his uh, members in his uh, group they are ready to go for a hunting expedition so the hunter is calling everyone by blowing his horn and that is the signal of calling all the members and the skylark sings with me so skylark is a bird and poet imagines that as he is also singing the bird skylark is also singing with him and he imagines and he sees all these companions that is the birds the um, particular skylark and the voices the natural voices in his surrounding he loves this company and he calls this company as a sweet company so let's move on to our next page so here is our next stanza but to go in school in a summer morn oh it drives all joy away under a cruel eye outworn the little ones spend the day in sighing and dismay so here uh, it is the time when the child has to go to school it's in the morning summer morning and uh, he says that he loves to get up early in the summer morning but when it is school time uh, it's it takes away all the joy from his heart because he is forced to go to school he would love to spend his life he would love to spend his time with the birds with the song of the birds and to chirp and to sing and to be in the company of nature and environment but at this time in this summer morning he is forced to go to school and that has taken out all the joy of his life because in school he has to sit under the cruel eyes of the old teacher so he says that all throughout the day i have to uh, sit under the supervision the teacher will always be looking at the small children and the sm small children will be sighing sighing taking out a deep uh, breath of sadness when you are very sorrowful or when you are sad you take a deep breath you release a deep breath and that is uh, what the poet also mentioned the children are not able to enjoy their life outside with the nature and they are forced to sit in a room with a with an old teacher whose cruel eyes is always inspecting supervising the little children and all these little children are very distressed because instead of going out and playing in the environment in the nature they are forced to sit in a room let's move on to a new page so here the poet again says in the third stanza ah then at times i drooping sit and spend many an anxious hour nor in my book can i take delight nor sit in learning bower worn through with a dreary shower so he says that when he is sitting in his seat or when he is on his seat he feels that he all his strength has gone out of his body he is worried and he is also fearful as to what is going to happen in the next hour which teacher is going to come and how is she or he going to 
deal with him he cannot take happiness in his book nor can he find happiness in sitting in the place that is in his seat with his companions in school he cannot find any happiness all his happiness is gone out because he is drenched with sorrow he is full of worry and uh, he is afraid to face the next hour he is anxious to know what is going to happen so anxious is worry what is going to happen in the next uh, period or in the next hour who is going to come or how that person is going to take the class so let's move on to our next page so here in this page he says now the poet compares himself the school boy with a life of a bird in a cage how can the bird that is born to born for joy sit in a sit in a cage and sing how can a child when fears annoy but droop his tender wing and forget his youthful spring so here the boy is uh, comparing and asking how the bird how a bird which is uh, born in freedom and if it is captured and caged how can people expect the bird to sing joyful songs when it is sitting in a cage the same manner how can a child enjoy his life when he is forced to go to school so school is nothing but a cage a prison for children because they are not able to enjoy their youthful or young days so it is useless to expect from the children whether they are happy at school maybe most of you might be thinking the same even now when this pandemic time when there is no school but still you are forced to listen to your teachers some of you might be feeling it's so boring listening to a teacher but what to do you need to uh, develop something for your future in communications in other skills you need to have those skills and these skills will help you in future and that's why you need to listen to your teacher let's move on to our next page then this child this young child that is the poet is asking his father oh father and mother if buds are nipped and blossoms blown away and if the tender plants are stripped of their joy in the springing day by sorrow and cares dismay how shall the summer arise in joy or the summer fruits appear so in this last stanza the child is asking his father and his mother if the buds but the young tiny uh, part of a flower before it blossoms poo poo kadukku munada and the mottu irukum adha da buds nu solvanga so if buds are nipped when the buds are damaged before it is uh, it uh, it uh, blooms into a flower or if Uh, even after the flower has bloomed if it is uh, uh, blown away or it is petals are taken out how can the uh, plant enjoy its life or if the plant is if the small plant or young plant is forcefully taken out from his ground and planted in some other pot how can the plant give uh, fruits and flower in the proper time it cannot be the same manner a child when he is forced to send to uh, forcefully sent to school how can he be expected to give good result when he is asked to go to school when he is caged in the walls of school that is what he says so children all the meanings are given below the stanzas go through the meanings you will get a lot of knowledge about all the difficult words which are used in this poem so with that the poem comes to an end so as the poet says you can also feel the burden of school because you learn so many different things be it math science social english their languages so many things a child is forced to do maybe the next day latest development in education policy is going to help us so with this the lesson comes to an end